The Desktop Satellite Tracker, a portable tool for teachers that accurately tracks satellites, planets, and stars to get more hands-on STEM into the classroom. I'm Zeke from Portland, Oregon, and I made the Desktop Satellite Tracker. Here it is! And now I'm going to show you how it works. When I was eight years old, I wanted to know how to contact an astronaut on the International Space Station. To do this, I got my ham radio license and started building all my own equipment to contact the International Space Station. Some of that equipment included a huge satellite tracker along with two smaller desktop sized satellite trackers. And the main reason why you want a satellite tracker is so that you can point your antenna at the satellite as it passes overhead so that you get the maximum signal. Now in all these tracker models, I used potentiometers to get the position but potentiometers require careful calibration and they don't spin forever. So I strive to solve this problem by using a magnetometer, which measures magnetic fields, and by using an accelerometer, which measures acceleration, to get the position instead. The magnetometers and accelerometer were able to track accurately down to 7 degrees of air measured by a phone company. Small desktop sized satellite trackers didn't previously exist, which is part of the reason why I designed and developed and 3D printed and built the desktop satellite tracker. It's small, it's portable, it's easy to assemble, and it doesn't just track satellites, but also planets and stars. I have a very hands on learning style, which means that I learn by doing rather than by just being told. But it's not just me, and other kids have hands-on learning to science too. And it's for that reason that I plan for my desktop satellite tracker to be used as a fun hands-on tool for teachers to teach mechanical and electrical engineering. So now I'm going to attach the antenna and I'm going to secure it on and then I'm going to plug it in and select a satellite to track and it's going to start to move and try to track but it doesn't know its position so I have to start calibrating it which will spin it in a circle to calibrate the magnetometer. And now it's calibrated, it can track. Thanks for watching.